Hi everyone, Ken Williams here. It is June 23rd. As a part of our regular Meet the Scientist video series, I want to take the opportunity to introduce our community uh, to Dr. Mariah Carbone. She's with Northern Arizona University and she's a newly funded DOE University professor. Mariah, why don't you introduce yourself, uh, some of your team members here, tell us a little bit about kind of the objectives of your research and specifically what we're looking at here. Okay, I am Mariah Carbone. And I, as Ken said, I'm a professor at Northern Arizona University in the Center for Ecosystem Science and Society. And I'm here with my graduate student, Aaron Heath, and my co-PI on the, on the project, Andrew Richardson. Hey. Who's also her husband, by the way. <laughs> and we are, we are setting up a transect of these tripods, as you can see here, along Snodgrass Mountain. And the idea is to link the sources of soil respiration, that being microbial respiration and plant respiration, uh, with changes in vegetation community. We're working in the aspen stands and the conifer stands along the mountain, and how that changes with snowpack and depth to groundwater. Great. And so you've got some instruments that you just installed, part of uh, uh, your own soil pit network. Uh, I was describing to Mariah earlier, we've got a growing network of researchers, both through DOE funding uh, and now the NSF CZO program uh, that are installing similar installations. So why don't you walk us through what uh, you and your team have just installed? We can see the, uh, the stick ups from where we're standing right now. OK, great. So what we have in the back there is a, a soil pit that we dug. Uh, where we took soil samples and then inserted soil moisture and temperature probes at different depths within the profile. And then we also have the EOSense GP um, soil CO2 concentration probes at those same depths in that pit. And then as we move up to the tripod, uh, we have two different Bino cams on, on the tripod. One of them will be aimed at the canopy. Uh, vegetation to look at the greenness of the canopy and how the activity of the plants over the course of the growing season. And then one will be aimed at the ground, looking at the understory vegetation, if we have them in the forest, and uh, looking at snow depth uh, in the winter time. Fantastic. You'd mentioned to me in passing uh, a strong interest in radiocarbon measurements. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you envision incorporating those measurements as part of this work. Right. So the the key part of this project is being able to separate the plant and microbial sources of respiration coming from the ground. And we can do that by taking, uh, measuring the radiocarbon content of the CO2 that we can collect from the soil surface. And so our plan next summer is to do a series of radiocarbon measurements um, in this, this general vicinity where we can separate what's coming from plants, what's coming from microbes. And we can do that because radiocarbon is like a clock. And you can age the carbon sources. And so plants tend to, plant roots tend to respire young carbon, so it tends to be recent and reflects that of the atmospheric radiocarbon signature. Whereas microbial de decomposition is a range of different sources. It can be new carbon or old carbon, but on average, it's usually decadally cycling carbon. And so those two radiocarbon signatures are often very different from each other. And so you can use them in a two end member mixing model to separate soil respiration. Fantastic. Well, thanks everyone. Really helpful to meet our researchers and uh, good to see hardworking husbands in the field helping out as well. Thanks everyone. Thanks, Mariah. Thank you.